before we get to the episode, do check out the new Instagram and Facebook of the White Stripe Podcast Network. That's right. We have the Bente Podcast, White Stripe Podcast, and Stripe Watch all on one feed. Do check that out. That is at White Stripe Podcast and White Stripe Podcast Network on Facebook. All right, let's go to the show. All right, welcome back to Stripe Watch, episode three. We're doing a Taiwan class. So, Josh, we're in episode three now. Yeah, we're in episode How three, How do you everyone. feel about that? Man, uh, okay, um, here's the thing. Episode three, we immediately jump into the 10 years prior, yeah. uh, 10 years after yeah. um, all of the introduction, all of the yep. Yep. Um, laying of the foundation of the show has yep. been done. And episode three was very interesting because yeah. we yeah. finally get things moving. We get yes. the plot moving, and yep. Yep. it's it's yep. Yep. it's a uh, exciting. It sets it sets the it sets the pace of or already of the show, and yep. it's an exciting yeah. first look at what's to come. I agree. This is one of the the first times you feel like oh, it's a Taiwan class. We're at the timeline now where most of the show takes place. You know, like there are a few jumps here and there, but generally, this is where the show takes place. This is where mm. all the action happens. And I'm so happy that we're finally here. So let's jump into it. So we we go into the episode, and this is seven years after the whole um, I'm going to go out, Park Serui saying, like, I'm going to work on a fishing boat for yeah, yeah. seven years. And then Sue was like, what, really? They eventually, she, she's like riding off, doing her work. And then she goes through a Taiwan, right? Mm. And... She's, she has, like, this whole narration and, like, a speech thing where she goes, it's been exactly seven years. Mm. Right? To me, it's absurd. Yeah. But to him, it's only natural. It's only natural. I mean, Park Seri, he's the kind of guy who says, who does something he says he'll do. Yeah. And he doesn't back yep. down on, he doesn't um, go back on his word. He yep. doesn't go back on his promises. And that's mm. a recurring theme throughout the whole show, whether yep. it's, his um, it's his promise to his dad. Yeah. It's his tr- uh, it, the way he treats his um, staff, as we'll see later on in the um, in the uh, later episodes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, I want to jump right into this. Mm. Go but for it. Be- before we go to the categories, I want to just open up with this. I mm, it was ahead. so funny watching them do the dance. We'll talk a bit about that, but then yeah. Uh, which dance <laughs> are we talking about? My the- <laughs> Like, oh, we're going to open now. Like, do we have to do this? And then they were like, (laughs) (laughs) all right, we're going to go straight into the Strife Watch Award. So what's your most memorable scene from this whole episode? For me, the most memorable, the the most memorable scene for me would be um, when we get to have a first look at Yiseo Yiseo and how they're... um, how they start out because mm. we we come to understand later on that they'll eventually be um, very close, very close indeed to um, Park Serei. Yeah. But we get to see the personality of what Yaseo is like, yeah. you know, the very um, realistic. She's very realistic in the sense that um, she knows what she wants. Yeah. And she isn't ashamed of how other people feel if, uh, they, if she tells them off. Like, mm. if she sees... Something wrong that's happening. Yeah. yeah. Um, she'll tell them off, and she's not mm. afraid to get hurt. And yeah. on the other hand, we see the complete opposite in Gunwon. That he's a very, <laughs> he's a very, um, he's a very soft guy. Yeah. He's a, he's um, he's easygoing. He's somebody that um is a very stark contrast mm. uh, in comparison to Yaseo. Yeah. Whereas you have somebody who's very uh outgoing. Mm. And you have um, someone who's very reserved in the person of Gunwon. Yeah, yeah. For me, that's my white uh, white stripe moment. Isn't Gunwon the other brother? Gunwon. Gunsu. Gunsu. All right. Okay. Regarding Iseo, this is actually where we meet her. Because mm, yeah. in the first episode, she's there, but we don't know who she is. Yeah. We don't know her story or how she plays into the story. Mm. But when you watch this episode, you're like, oh, shoot, like, she's pretty crazy. Um, yeah. The, 
I want to get into this a little bit when they had the scene where she's in school and her classmates being bullied. It's the mm. same thing that happened with Serui. Mm. And I didn't realize it at the time when I first watched it. Going back, I was like, oh, shoot. They're put in the same situation. Um, and then they handled it two different ways. So Serui is just like standing up for himself. Like, you, you don't scare me, punch. And then hmm. we have Yishia who's like, all right, I'm going to ruin your life. Yeah. <laughs> so that was an interesting look at it, at her character as well. Mm-hmm. Um, for my most memorable scene, so I have two. I have two that I want to hit. But the second one, I won't hit so hard because I have more on that later. So the first one would be the the fight in Dan Bam between the drunk customer, who's the friend of Yisio and Gonsu. Mm-hmm. So we have Sung Hwan and the drunk customer, they're having this spat. We don't know anything about his character yet. So mm-hmm. when we see how he's being treated, he's at first he's patient. Eh? He's like, hey, part-timer. Yeah. And then he's like, all right. And then suddenly he's like, is his name part-timer? Uh, is your name part-timer? Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> and then... They're about to go into a fight, Serui and the customer. And when he's about to throw the punch, um, Sung Wan pushes Serui and takes the hit himself. Mm, and I'm just like, yeah. oh, shoot. What a moment. Like, geez, this guy is willing to sacrifice for Serui. And we mm. don't know much about him yet, right, at that point. And then after that, just to attach it a little bit, um, we have the backstory of how they were in prison. Which I'll mm. get to a bit a bit more later. Another one, another one would be the end. Oh, okay. When Gun Gun was like offering help. Like imagine being in that situation where the person you hate the most is like, "Oh, I'll help you out," and then the police <laughs> are like, "Oh, if you're friends with him, yeah, fine, sure." Yeah, I mean, and then all, yeah, and then Sarah was like, "No, my dream was to be a cop, but the police is so the police is supposed to defend the law." So he gets mad at the police officer because he's not doing the, right, the righteous thing. Mm. And then he was like, why does his word have power in police officers? Let's do yeah, things yeah. by the law. This is when his pub is about to close, all that stuff, because of Yiseyo and the gang drinking yeah. when they're not supposed to. And I'll get more into that later, but those two are my scenes. All right. Awesome, awesome. Mm. I love how you just mentioned that, that particular part, the last scene. Mm. Um, because we get to see how uh, Yiseyo and Gunwoo will start to uh, find out who Park mm. Seteri really is. He's not your ordinary guy. He's not mm. your average guy. Yeah. And uh, the relationship wi- between them is about to unfold. And yeah. the dynamic also. And for one side, you have um, you have that uh, sort of curiosity going on already for Yiseo. And for Gunwon, it's that feeling of, whoa, what exactly happened? Yeah. 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 Anyways... Those are the two scenes that stick out to me the most in this episode. Mm. But I want to get into this, the heartbreak scenes. So there's not a lot of heartbreak scenes in this episode, meaning Mm. in a a sense of like love story type or death. Like it's not that. We don't get that in this episode. But Mm. I do have one scene where it's funny, but at the same time, I felt really bad. Mm. So Dan Bam's not doing well. Uh, mm, I mentioned mm, the dance. I do all okay. that stuff, and then so this is Serui's magical moment of marketing where he's like, "Let's get a mascot." So <laughs> you, he opens the box. He does all that stuff. So in the story, basically, right, he thinks that if he has a mascot, like if he's a mascot and he's giving out flyers, that yeah. that's gonna help out with sales. Um, we have the whole thing of, um. Gonsu and and Yiseo writing and then hitting him and he he you know complains he's like oh shoot these people again he eventually faints goes to the hospital and then yeah th- this is the part they're like oh like you fainted all that stuff from exhaustion and then he goes wait wait where's the suit yeah and then they're like oh they had to rip it out and then he was like but that was expensive. <laughs> yeah, it was um custom made. It was custom. Yeah, he I ordered it. He bought I it today. Felt... It was custom made. Oh, that was that. Honestly, was that honestly was um very, that was it was very shocking for me because I was like, y- you know, it takes a while to make yeah. custom made. Yeah. Uh, to make custom made uh, yeah. costumes and whatever any piece of clothing, mm. and it's quite expensive also. Yeah. So to have all of that go down the drain in the middle of a 
business crisis. Yeah. It's not doing so well. Yeah. It it sucks. That's the part where my heart broke a little bit. Because okay. knowing business, imagine that. You put your investment in this thing that you genuinely believe in. Mm. And the same day, they cut it open. And you can't use it anymore. Exactly, and then he was, yeah. he was just like, that was expensive. I was like, oh, bro. I feel you, man. Like, that's so hard. What's your most heartbreaking scene? For me, I agree with you that there aren't that much heartbreak scenes. Yeah. I, I think if if none at all. Yeah. Um, in terms of romantic, um, you know, or the romantic aspect yeah. of the There's show. nothing tragic in this episode. But for me, I just want to hark back on um, the, the what you mentioned earlier about the scene where they were in the police station already. Oh, yes. And uh, this particular line for um, Gunsu. Okay, I got it right. I got it. Yeah. Right. Or right, Gunsu. Gunsu. How he wanted to help, mm. but Park said to you said, um, "It's okay. You you just stay quiet. Oh, uh, you're yeah. you know you're you're still you're a minor. minor. You still yeah. can't take responsibility. Yet. Yeah, yeah. And he calls him a kiddo, <laughs> and I love that. I love it's heartbreaking in the sense that it's heartbreaking in the sense that he wants to make right for you know for the mistake mm. that they made. Yeah, and." It you know none of this would have happened if they didn't, you know, if they didn't make, if they didn't um lie to uh, yeah, yeah. Sung Won and the rest of the Dan Bam sta- uh, yeah. crew yeah. that uh, they're minors and whatnot. Yeah. None of that would have happened. But True. you know, Gu- Gunsu uh, apologized, and I love that scene uh, as a heartbreak scene because it's sort of this brotherly love, this brotherly mm. relationship between the okay. two, and. Yeah. I, I, I really like that dynamic running throughout the whole show. Yeah. I think that it was perfect. It was uh th- that sort of relationship is perfect that I mean, uh, while you have Gunsu uh Gunsu's family, um where Park Seri really doesn't like them, he mm, hates them, for sure. you know, tries to beat them. He sees Gunsu as a brother. Yeah. And at, that's what, at this point he doesn't know it yet though. He doesn't know He that doesn't know family. it yet. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. know it yet, yeah. All right, we're going to go to the next one. This is the flutter scene. We don't have much about these either in this episode. I don't know about you, man. I was... Uh, oh, you were. <laughs> you were. <laughs> I was... Um, I was like, dang. Okay. Um, I'll mention mine just to get it out there first. Uh, All right. So, Serui bumps into Sua along in Taiwan. Yeah. And Sua grabs his arm. And this is a nice scene because we find out like, oh, shoot, like... Park Sherry actually knows how to do business. So, because yeah. she's like offering help. She's like, do you need help with your expenses and all that stuff? I can look at your record. I can look at your books. And he's like, explain to her. She's like, no, I got this. Like, I, I know mm. what I'm talking about. Mm. And that was a nice scene between them. But for me, it was just that, like, oh, like, let's take a walk. Like, um, yeah. ha- have her arm around his arm. Like, that's it. Uh, but that's just mine. Yeah, that was I don't... so cute, honestly. <laughs> do, you like, do you like taking walks, Trey? I do. I do love taking walks. Depends nice. on the weather. It depends on the weather and where All I right. am. All right. Let's say it's a. It's you know. It's a cold night. If uh, it's a cold night in a nice place, then yes. If it's along Taft Avenue, then no. Yeah. All right. It makes sense. Makes <laughs> sense. Uh, let Let's say like let, Let's say the streets of the streets of Alabang. You know. You're just. It's just a nice night. It's just a. You know. Yeah. That's pretty nice. All right. What's yours? For me, uh, actually, I have two. Okay, go ahead. Um, I want to get the, um, I want to get the, sort of minor one out of the way. I'm not go. discrediting it, but go, 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 the go. other one, um, for reasons, for personal reasons, I'll I'll mention that later. But uh, the first scene that I liked was it's just, it's it's just a very nice scene of uh, Gunsu and Yiseo talking over the bridge. Yeah, you know, just, just. Um, Gunsu be, uh, finding out that hey, um, Iseo's there, yeah. and she posted uh, something on Instagram yeah. probably about thirty, a uh, couple of minutes or an hour, uh, mm. hour ago, and they're yeah. just they're just talking about life. They're just having a nice conversation, yeah. and Iseo goes like, "Oh, I'm bored and stuff like that." And <laughs> oh, what what plans do you have? Oh, me. Uh, Gun- and Gunsu's like, "Oh, me. Uh, I'm just." Um, no, I'm gonna go to Etoan. I'm gonna <laughs> go clubbing with my with, with my, my friend. friend. Yeah, and and you say it's like oh, that, 
I mean, let me let me go with you. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Don't don't be yeah. don't be such a don't be such a wuss. And, <laughs> and just, just let me come with you. And, yeah. And then Gunsu is like, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And then, and then Gunsu, you know, he's on the motorcycle, <laughs> and uh, he says like, all right, you know, just do the safety stuff, you know, helmet, helmet, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then Gunsu, and then Gunsu says, "Okay, hold, so hold tight." And then you know you say, "Oh, with," uh, it's like, "All right, I'm she gonna had, do what you said." And she, then she, Gunsu, she had her arms sun- around his shoulder first, and yeah, then when yeah, he was yeah. like, "Hold tight," she, that's when she went, she went around the waist. Yeah, and then yeah. Gunsu's like, you know, smirking. like, "Yeah, he's like smiling." Yeah. He's like, "Yeah, man." Yeah. Like I'm a senior in high school. Got, got this <laughs> girl. All right. No, but I I think I think that um, I think that scene I I think that wasn't the intention uh, the emotion that was really portrayed, but rather like a, oh this is nice. Oh yeah yeah for sure. Not not like <laughs> no, but more like no a, no because oh, nice. even later in the episode that he said that he just realized he liked her at the club when the yeah. guy is like oh can I make a move on her and then he was like wait no I like her. And then he was like, geez, bro, you could have told me earlier. And yeah. then he was like, I just realized. And just I like just dancing. realized it right now. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's your other one? Oh, my other one is um, just going back to also what you said, what you mentioned about the um, going for a walk around Itaewon. Mm, yeah. Um, the, the, the moment that Sua um, grabs Seru's arm and hugs him and pulls him tight, I was like, yes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Best girl Sua, let's go. <laughs> yeah. And you know, they just they just talk, they just yeah, enjoy yeah. the walk, the conversation. Yeah. And yeah, you know, Sua wants to help. Um wants Park, to help Park Park Seri. Seri yeah. and um make the business fly. Um for whatever for whatever intention. And Seri's Seri got things covered. Yeah. Got yeah, he, he's got things covered. <laughs> and later on in the conversation, um they both tell each other that they haven't changed after all this time. Mm. And uh, after Park Sari tells Sua that, oh, you haven't changed either. And um, Sua goes, oh, is that a, is that a compliment? Mm. And then Park Sari goes, I meant, you know, I meant you're still pretty. Oh, yeah. I and, then, and then I go, yes, let's go. <laughs> we like that straightforwardness. Let's go. Oh, we love that yeah, yeah, honesty. Yeah. You love to see it. You'd have to see it. All right. I um, I remember that. I remember those scenes. So just to go back a bit to Yusia, Uh This is the episode where, yeah, we find out her relationships with so many people. Um, yeah. What they're like, what she's like. You know, she's pretty. Um, I don't have this on my notes. I'm just, I'm just going to hit it now. Um, right. When he when she meets Park Serui, um, they're on the staircase. And this girl, the mother of the other girl who she posted online about um so the mother's like all in rage she's about to slap Yisea and Park said away just so happens to be there at the perfect time grabs the arm and he's like stop it all that stuff yeah and then they have the whole thing she goes down the stairs and he's he's like running after her I realized it's it's similar to how he was with Suo when they first met there's a certain yeah. altercation they, she goes downstairs. He chases after her. The difference is that Yisei is pretty crazy. And she's like all lying about this stuff. <laughs> and then this is when you're like, oh, shoot. Like she's some 20 or 19 year old, I guess. And then, you know, she's like lost in life. All that stuff. She doesn't care. Um, yeah. An interesting note. I realized she moved. She just moved from New York the year prior. Oh. That's a note that I forgot about, which okay. I'll tackle a bit later. All right. Anyway, what's your? Oh wait, that happened. Well, actually, what? Why don't you go first? Why don't you? All go right. First for this um, one? I'm just gonna. I mentioned it earlier. It's the scene where Park said he has this great idea for marketing. Mm. When they so they're all talking, the employees in Park said he, they're like, "Oh, business isn't doing well. Oh, but there's a package over there for you." And then he he was like, "They were like, oh, what's this?" Then he was like, "It's for marketing." And then he's like so happy about this. He's like, mm. <laughs> he's like my genius plan of um, doing all that stuff. And then I forgot the scene where he say actually flies from the motorcycle oh. and, and hits Park Serui. Like I kind of forgot that happened. They stop the motorcycle because there's a kid. I forgot about all that. She flies, hits Serui, 
Um, and that was an interesting love scene. What's your, oh wait, that happened? For me, the scene that I forgot happened, and I, I'm, I'm only remembering it now after watching yeah. it again, is when uh, Gunwon actually made a business pitch. Oh yeah, that's right! I forgot yeah, he made that. a business pitch. <laughs> you know, from the previous episode, we see that my girl... So Sua, Sua is did like the killing bomb him. of a business yeah. bitch. You vicious know. bar. Vicious bar. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not vicious bar. It's vicious bar. <laughs> All right. And uh, good one being the bad boy guy, he makes a business pitch about um, re rebranding the image of one of the key branches of Janga. Mm, yeah. Uh, into like a ho- hookup spot. Yeah. And this key branch is in Itaewon. Um. You know, he talks about like, oh, why don't we just make an, why don't, uh, why don't we make an app where people can just get hook together, yeah. date, hook up, you know, and he must have taken the idea of Sua, uh, like the vicious part, not necessarily like yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the Django branch in Itaewon. Itaewon. it's, mm. it's, it's, um, it's sort of like the main face of Janga. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, we just see Sua and uh, Miss Kang, Miss Kang. And, u- and ultimately uh, Jang Dehi grill Gunwon's <laughs> asking him, oh, what is the average age of the people yeah. in Itoan? It's like, you don't know? What is, what, is, uh, what is this? What is that? Do you not have any, uh, yeah. do you not have any customer insight or analytics or what whatnot? Yeah. And he's just and standing there. The only defense that Gunwon has, it's, oh, because... Because uh, this is the new thing right now. The mm. the old, you know, the old ways aren't working anymore. Yeah, and we we just see we just see the chairman chairman Jang, you know, slap him in the face. Yeah, I forgot about that part. I forgot that he actually slaps his face in front of the di- the board of directors. Exactly, oh. and it said it gives the impression to the other uh, to the other directors in the board that. This guy's clearly not capable yeah. of inheriting the company at all. I feel so like that's such all... a bad move for the chairman too. Exactly. Like, like, like the... this guy, he's trying to sell him as the heir, but exactly. he slaps him in front of everyone. That's that's a bit crazy. So yeah, that was the scene that I forgot. Oh, also the part when um after that whole um business pitch, you know, we see a conversation with Gunwan and Sua. Oh, that's right. And good one. That's right. Even though he gets slapped, he's still confident that he's gonna <laughs> inherit Janga and Janga like, Cole. How long and do you think my dad has? Five years? Ten years? <laughs> <laughs> and then we see, and then we see her just walk up to him and say, "Are you sure? Are you that confident that yeah, you're gonna yeah. inherit the company?" Yeah. And that's then, crazy. and then you know, she just walks away in confidence, being yeah. the being the boss that she is. Yeah, dude. It, it was wild. It was. Yeah, crazy. I forgot that scene, and yeah. That's a good scene. Do you have any other scenes you forgot? Actually, that's it. Um, All right. Yeah. Everything else, everything else, I can recall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Th- those were interesting scenes. I for- I forgot about those scenes as well. I'm just like, oh yeah, I forgot about this whole thing going on and with Miss yeah. Kang and they're like, you should be the new director and she's like, not yet. Like, don't say it yet. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do what if. So mine would be, what if? Mine would be what if. Yiseo never went into Dandam. Mm. Okay. What's the story like? How does yeah, he like, become successful? Mm. If they never meet in that sense of, hey, we'll go in there. I love how when they, she goes inside, she's like, uh, the other two friends were like, hey, why aren't you taking pictures? All that stuff. And then Yiseo is just like, because it's, it's lousy here. Like, yeah, oh. I don't want to be, you know, I'm a famous person. I'm yeah. an influencer. I don't want to be seen in a shabby place like this. Yeah, I was like, she was like, it's lousy. And I was like, I like that. I like that she knows. She mm. knows that it's not a great place. So my question is, what if, what if she never, what if they never went inside? What if they passed mm. by it and they were like, no, let's not eat there. It looks bad. We probably wouldn't have that police station scene. He wouldn't. Oh, yeah, that's right. They wouldn't be closed for two months. They'll still he be in be bad business. Months, yeah. They'll still be in the bad business, but he won't be closed for two months. What happens then? Probably probably the show would still try to find a way to make Park Seri and Yiseo get uh, you know, 
end up working with each other. Yeah, but in, in a sense of if that was actual life, right? Like, what happens to Dan Bam? We never right? know. Right? It's a it weird. It's a what if. It's a weird thing to think about because I'm like, oh, yeah, that is a huge part of the show. Anyways, what's your what if? What if, um, what do you call this? What if Park Seteri didn't interfere with uh, Yuseo when she was being, um, what do you call this? When she got slapped by the mom of the oh, bully. That's, oh, that's interesting. And also, and also, what if um, Yuseo didn't crash into, um, into Park Seteri? She didn't um, crash land on <laughs> so, Park Center. <laughs> wait, in what sense? Like in the first time they met, or yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, what okay, if their okay. what if their meeting was not like that? They because it, it yeah. Chances of the meeting are very slim, to be honest. It's not like yeah, they had an yeah. event together or something. I mean, they could have they could have met in a in a different way. I just I am just trying to picture what would what would it be like if there wasn't any ongoing conflict mm. yeah in that pr- in that situation what if yeah, they yeah. met in a more calm or more civil manner yeah you know they just walk past each other no no <laughs> yeah that, no but that, seriously like no, what, no, what that, if they, that makes what more if they sense. met in a very different way right if that's the case i don't think ecl falls for Seteri. could be i, I don't think because she basically falls for him for his decisions and for his actions where he's like, oh, this guy, like he's honorable, all that stuff. Like, especially in the police station, where she's mm. she sees him, how he reacts. He's like, no, we're doing this by the law. Um, I take responsibility for what happened. Like these two are minors. And then the his employee is like, no, it's my fault, boss. He's like, no, I left you to do it. It's my fault. So I think it's those moments where you see us just like, oh, this guy. But without that, we don't get that. I don't think we get that. Yeah. yeah. Without the. For me, for me, I think without even without the um, without the confrontation with the mom, the crash from the motorcycle, I don't think she would have really cared about. Park I don't Sarita think so much. either. I but, don't think so either. But the appeal, the the sort of curiosity, came in uh, during the police station. Yeah, scene, I agree. For me, I agree. That's that's what got her. You know, you know, start starting to think oh this guy's this guy's decent <laughs> i agree completely so let's go to the next one because that's connected to the police scene for me best okay. quote yeah why don't you why don't you start off this one so this is my favorite quote of the whole episode it's one of my favorite quotes of the whole show um mm. so it's the scene where afterwards so you have the Whole situation in the police where they're like, oh, Gunwan goes inside. Gunwan's like, oh, like we used to be classmates, right? And then uh, the police officer's like, oh, for your friends, like, sure, like we can make an exception. And then he's all enraged. He's like, police officers are supposed to be righteous. Why are you doing this? Um, mm-hmm. Just because he, he, just because he has all the power. Like, why are you giving him power? And it's just a whole thing. So he walks out of the police station. And you see, I was like, why, why is this guy being such a stuck up? You know, mm. he's like, why, why won't he just accept help? And then she goes and she goes out and then she starts talking to Serui. She's like, why are you doing this? Is it a pride thing? And he, he's like, just walking. He's like, no, and all that stuff. And then this is where PSJ shows so much acting skills. So she asks him, so she tells him, but if you let it slide just this once, and he starts shouting, just this once, once and for all, but there will be another time. Mm. It'll make things yeah. easy once. But you know what? Mm. That one time can change your whole life. He's like yeah. shouting this. He's mm. like saying, when you, when you get help from someone who's not trustworthy, when someone who's like that, you ask for help once, it changes everything. It changes your whole life. And I was thinking yeah. about that. And I was like, that's crazy. Because there yeah. will be a, he saw it already. There will be a day. If he says yes. Gun Wan will be like, hey, remember the time where we stopped your business from being closed for two months? Don't you owe me? Mm, or shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't you be kind to me? So mm. he saw that and he was like, I'm not doing that. What are your thoughts yeah. on that? Is that? Do you have a different one? Um, 
Mine is mine is uh, almost the same as yours. Okay, okay. But I love I love how I love how we really s- get to see the values that are instilled in Park City. Mm. It's not easy. Yeah, basically. it's not. It's not. That scene makes uh, you know just pokes that question: Are you willing to do the? Are you willing to uh, to do the right thing, even though it will cost you? Mm. And I love how I love how Park Sarayi, um follows up on what he said about the the part, you know, just letting it slide, letting it happen again. Yeah. For mm. him, it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. He can start over yeah. and over and over again. Yep. And for him, being suspended for two months is no big deal because even though he closes down his business, he can start over again. Yeah. So he yeah. doesn't yeah. succumb to the fact that you know this happened yeah and he takes responsibility for the fact and it's not it's not his own fault mm. that he accepted um minors mm. yeah. it's yeah. uh it's his staff's fault mm. but he takes responsibility because that's yeah, what yeah. a yeah, yeah. leader should do <clears throat> yep that's what a boss should do yeah. taking responsibility you know taking uh owning up because that's mm. your business that's yeah. your business on the line yeah and it it just goes to show how much trust uh, the the staff of Tanbam has with each other. Mm. Um, yeah, th- th- that's my s- that's those are my thoughts for the scene. For my favorite quote of this episode, it has to be the follow up after that. Uh, it's so we good. see Gunwon walking up to Park Seri, meeting for the first time after ten years. Yes, and you know we see Gunwon trying to agitate Park Seri like, hey, you, like, you know, just want to punch me? Like, you know, me. Yeah. doesn't it feel good to punch me? And you know, Park Seri is just like nine years. I've held it. I've held it in for nine years for this long. Yeah. He. We see the intention of Park Seri. Like, yeah. You know, I'm gonna take you down. You yeah, have yeah. no idea what you're in for. You think you've got it all planned yeah. out. You think you've got everything sorted out. Just you wait, because I have a 15 year business plan. Yeah. I have a 15 year plan. It's. Cr- I remember that he goes nine years. I'll do it for another six. Yeah. I have a 15 year plan. Everyone's like, oh. I was like, whoa! <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I love that scene. We'll talk a bit more about that later. All right. So, what's your IC award? What goes to your, to your Taiwan Class Award? The biggest lesson you learned from the episode. For me, the biggest learning of, um, of this episode, really, is that you shouldn't, you shouldn't give up on, uh, just because there was a obstacle that happened in your way. Mm. And th- this is just going back to the uh, to the scene where, you know, uh, they get suspended for business yeah, uh, yeah. for violating the the minor rule, yeah, or whatever. But yeah, just, just don't give up, even though you have setbacks mm. like that. Yeah. Um, and here's the thing. Um, I was supposed to mention this in for episode four. All right. But um. They got suspended in a very, very bad time of the year. Oh yes. If I you forgot. remember, yeah, if you remember, right. if you remember, uh, this was seven years, uh, seven uh, exactly seven years since Park Seri met up with Sua again. Yeah. In Itaewon during yeah. the Halloween Halloween yep. night and whatnot. Yep. Uh, this is exactly seven years, and a couple of months have already passed, and this time around, this time of. Uh, the year is actually the November December part of yeah, the year. You get you get you kind of get the Christmas vibe from it. Exactly, yeah. you have a lot of sales. Yeah, and interesting enough, I I did a bit of research. Um, this is the time when a lot of uh, a lot of uh, friends and couples go out, hang out. Mm. So naturally, this is when a lot of businesses will look. Uh, we look for more ways to increase their sales, their revenue, for and sure. for Park Saturday's sure. business to close down at such a bad time. It's and horrible. He's already doing bad. Yeah. Right. He still has that. He still has that conviction that it's not the end of the world. Yep. Definitely, I can relate with him because he works in the food service industry. Mm, yeah. and I I, yeah. I also uh, I also have a uh, food business that I run. Mm, yeah. And, you know, just, just all of this, uh, all of these things that are, that can go in your head as a businessman. Oh, what, yeah. what, what happens now? Like, 
it, this is a very crucial time of the year and mm. I, and my business just goes down yeah but for him it's like no i'm going to i'm I, you know i'm i'm standing firm on what i believe in mm. and it's not this doesn't mean that my business is finished mm. Contrary yeah, yeah. to what the other characters believe that oh it's over for me, <laughs> it's for for um, for someone it, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah it's over for me and for Iseo and um, probably Gunsu, uh, this guy's finished. Yeah, Park Seri Park Seri sick. No, I mean it's not over. Yeah, that's a great and yeah realization. Um, for me, I'm gonna tie mine into my best quote. Don't compromise. Because one compromise can ruin a whole plan, mm. right? If you make one mistake, if you try to satisfy the now, you try to have you know the business run now. Um, in the long run, it could hit you if you don't do it properly. Mm. Definitely be one. That'll be one of them. Um, yeah. I mean, of course, the situation is very different because we don't have people killing our family. But you see the you see the lesson there. If you do that with someone who's shady. You know, mm. someone who you can't trust, don't do it because it's just going to mm. bite you. Mm. It might seem fine. Like, oh, my gosh, like two months. Thank you so much. I don't have to close my business. But, yeah, it would be a different story if you said yes to that. All right. Yeah. We're going to tie this straight into the lens flare rating. So we, we na, just talked about the scene. Na, 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 we just talked <laughs> <we just talk laughs> about the scene where it ends. So we talk about, you say, oh, it's like. Why 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 is your pride so high? And then he's like, What? Just this once? And then she's like, What a stuck up. And you have, yeah, Gunwan like hitting him. He's like, Hit me, you wanna hit me? Like, go ahead. This is actually the scene where I, I forgot to mention this. He admits that he hit Mr. Park. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think the chicken in the previous episode really <laughs> uh, changed directions. You know how um, <laughs> In that... Fast and Furious, when Vin Diesel and uh, Paul Walker go that way, <laughs> that's that that uh, the fork in the road is the chicken. Jeez, <laughs> it's just a chicken in the middle of the road. So it was crazy when <laughs> he crossed he crossed the road. <laughs> oh my! Uh, so he was like, I remember he goes out. He was like, You think that you're expelled because of me? That you're that you you're an ex-convict because of me? That mm. your dad died because of me? And he goes into him. He whispers, you're right. And then you see, you see Sarah Wee's face. It's like, mm, like, I want to hit you so bad. Mm. But he, he holds it in. And he's like, mm. hit me. Hit me. Don't, won't it feel good if you hit me? And he's like, the, the statutes of limitation. I handled this for nine years. I can do it for six more. I have a 15 year plan. Mm. And he goes, Psh. end of the episode. Well, what's your rating for that uh, All right. moment? Uh, as a, okay, so as a scene, um, it's a great scene. I love the mm. scene. I love the sequence. I love everything happening here. Yeah. Um, great quote as well. I have a 15, 15 year plan. That's a great um, one. Mm -hmm. I give this a six. Mm. It's not that okay. great. I liked it. Not that great. Um, yeah. Great line. But as an ending, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, that's great. What about you? I'd probably give... Um, I'm feeling generous, so... Go ahead. I'll give it a seven. I'll right. give it a seven. All right. No, that's it fair. Wasn't, that's fair. That's I, fair. I agree that it wasn't that great in terms of, like, a lens flare mm. scene. But it was... Um, you know, it give it sort of gave us this um, resolution yeah. to the yeah, yeah, yeah. to the um, to the scene where they were in the police station and yeah, um, it gives us a hint already of what's to come. Yeah, that's true. So I think that was a it was an it was a, an okay lens flare moment. It All did right. the, that's it fair. did its job. That's um, fair. If I wasn't. If uh, if I was if I was just um, if I wasn't feeling generous, I'd probably give it about a six. Also, yeah, I think you you can make the argument for seven. It, yeah, it, it still makes sense. It's a great scene. Hmm. Any thoughts on this episode? Because yeah. when, when I watch this again, it's like 
cool, I know who Yishio is now. Um, I know who these other people are. Um, you kind of get the introduction to how things are. You get the whole mascot. You're like, okay, Shadow is not good at marketing. So you find something. <laughs> you finally find the flaw in this guy. You're like, all right, he doesn't know how to market. Um, uh, but yeah, that, those are my main takeaways from the episode. For me, um, for me, this this episode is, um, it it. It could it could stand alone on its own, but I feel that, um, as as any great show, um, sort of that, um, oh man, that was it, like, yeah, oh, I want to watch yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the feeling that I got for this Fair. for this episode. Yeah, like, oh, he's got a fifteen year plan. Okay, so what happens then? Like, oh, okay. yeah, I want to no, find I, out. I get it. I get it. So yeah, but great, great episode. Um. It, it, did, it didn't disappoint at all. Yeah, it was so, a good episode. Yeah, pretty good episode. All right, that is episode three of Stripe Watch, season one, a Taiwan class. Uh, we had a lot of fun discuss, discussing this episode. This is the introduction to Yishio, basically. And mm, yeah. we get to learn so much more about the characters. We finally find the flaw in Park Sarui's business and his life. <laughs> So, so that's great to see. Um, other than that, we talk about everything else. Um, so I'll see you for episode four.